Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning. My name is Nuliana Binti Wahrin. I am one of the PhD candidate from UITM. So today I would like to uh, present my progress report semester 3, 2022 and 2023. So the title for my uh, PhD or proposed title is Optimal Charging Coordination Strategy for of Electric Vehicle Using Hybrid Artificial Intelligence with Demand Side Management. For campus facility under enhanced time of use in tau tarif. So this is my research milestone. Okay. For uh, research background, I have seventy percent. Okay, seventy percent. Uh, forty percent for chapter one. Okay, for the statement, scope of study, objective, and thirty percent for literature review and thirty percent for research methodology. Data collection is 20% and 5% for data analysis. Okay, for problem statement, objective and significance of the study. So, I have three problem statement and three objective. Okay, problem statement number one is increased number of electric vehicle charging activities in campus facility contribute to the increased load demand and electricity usage cost. So, from this problem statement, I come up with the objective number one. To formulate optimum model for load management and charging coordination strategy in campus building to minimize the EV charging load demand and cost okay, with ITAU tariff using hybrid uh, fuzzy logic, particle swarm optimization and genetic algorithm. So the significance of this objective is first to enhance optimization model which is can be used as the solution to find the optimum load management and EV charging coordination. For problem statement number two, limited research to consider simultaneous PEV charging load management strategy with meta heuristic optimization algorithm for campus facility in Asia. So with this uh, problem statement, uh, objective number two is contract constructed, okay, which is to, to improve the FL, PSO, GA, load management and charging coordination optimization model by integrating demand side management strategies with ETAU electricity, electricity pricing structure. And the significance of this objective is one, is to improve the model, okay, the improved model of FL, PSO, GA, optimization hybrid with DSM method will resolve the technical parameters and economic assessment using the optimal ETAU tariff pricing structure. And objective number three is the absence of uh, absence of specific TOU tariff scheme specifically for PEV charging load in commercial building. Uh, this is the problem statement. The objective is to identify the optimum ETAU electricity pricing structure okay, for PEV charging load at campus facility for maximizing consumer and utility company benefit using optimization model okay, for objective one and two. And the significance is optimum ETAU tariff that can benefit EV owners, university campus, and utility company. So for this uh, presentation, for this uh, semester three presentation report, I will focus on the chapter uh, on the objective number one. Okay, uh, to formulate the optimum model for load management and charging coordination. Okay, which is I will focus on the fuzzy logic. Okay, which is I implement the fuzzy logic to set the priority of EV charging. And manual calculation and manual calculation and applied uh, the EV charging load to observe the electricity demand. ETAU tariff to discuss the electricity price. So scope and limitation, commercial building as the case study. Okay, study will focus on the campus building. Data is from energy data and electricity demand bill, which is I use the UTM Laka. There will be two le two EV charging level. This which is the two is using DC charging. So I will use the TE tau tariff and the type of electric vehicle is electric bus EB. Okay. So objective one, uh, we we'll focus on the baseline. Okay, baseline or the um. Uh, The start, okay, start to uh, starting to do the uh, preliminary research, okay, preliminary research. So, electric bus and spe specification and charging specification, okay. So, I will focus on the electric bus, okay, instead of uh, electric vehicle or car itself, okay. 
So the brand is Volvo, Volvo 7900 electric range. So the charging, there are two charging, okay, op, using op, match, op charge and also CCS. Okay, if you use op charge, the maximum charging power is 300, CCS is 150, okay, the maximum lah. Okay, energy storage or battery capacity of the bus, okay, 12 meter bus is up to 330 kilowatt. Okay, so from this uh, specification, okay. I calculated the uh, time, okay, time to charge the bus, okay. So, this is the maximum, okay. 1.1 hour to full charge for off charge and CCS charging station to 2.2 hours, okay. So, SOC, you uh, minimum SOC is 20%, maximum is 100%. Okay, this is the picture, okay, of the CCS combined charging system. It will use via connector. And also pentograph. Okay, pentograph, pentograph is a op charge. Okay, both of them use uh C uh use DC charging level. Okay, that's the bus and the charging station. And this one is the ita tariff. Okay, ita tariff. I will use the existing ita tariff from TNB. Okay, for commercial C one. Okay, medium voltage. So ita have two different different time zone for with this. We have three. Time zone for we can uh, Saturday, Sunday, about the holiday, one only time zone, okay, off peak. So, this is the breakdown price, okay, uh, according to the time, okay, from 12 a.m. until uh, 12, 12 a.m. again, okay. So, demand charge also will be considered later. Okay, so I go to the fuzzy logic, okay, fuzzy logic is used to determine the EB charging, Priority based on the SOC and charging station. So, in my case, I have two inputs. Okay, state time and SOC level. And one input, charging turn priority. So, I want to uh, determine the charging priority. Because we have 20 bus. Okay, 20 buses. And uh, from this fuzzy logic, it will determine, okay, which bus will charge first based on the SOC level? Okay, but well, first, uh, for fuzzy logic, this is the membership membership function setting. Okay, so we need to set the membership function range and type. Okay, for stay time, I have five range. Okay, using two type of MF trapezium and triangular SOC input, I have five also. I have two types of type MF also, trapezium and triangular. And output, I have three range of MF and using one only MF type, okay, trapezium. So the yellow one is the inputs, okay, state time, SOC, and also the blue one is priority, okay, output. Okay, after you set the membership function, you need to set the rule, okay, using if then rules, I come up with this table, okay, rule number one. If stay time is very short duration and SOC is very low, the priority is high priority. Means that we need a low SOC and low SOC means that the battery is still, uh, battery is still high, okay, battery is still high. Okay, very low is means that battery is uh, very low, means that the battery is low lah, okay. And high priority, so need to charge the uh, SOC with high, very low, okay. And go on, so I have 25 rules. So fuzzy logic rule, uh, result, so we can observe, uh, uh, take the... Uh, extract the uh, result using uh, 3D surface priority SOC state time and also 2D. Okay, priority will be y, x, y axis state time x axis or priority versus SOC. Priority y axis, SOC f axis. Okay, so this is the uh, the numbers that I get from the fuzzy logic rules. Okay, fuzzy, fuzzy logic rules result okay so soc 0 0.2 so means that we need to charge another 80% okay this one is low low 
variety lah okay high priority is 0 0.4 okay because of the number is high priority and 0 0.6 high priority also okay so this is based on the uh, my membership functions okay that we set already so electric uh, electric bus charging scenario so i i have created four cases case one night charging so this one use op charge okay 300 kilowatt charging so we have two charging stations cs1 and cs2 charging uh, time start 6 pm case two night charging using css same as uh, case one but using css Okay, we have four charging stations, CS1, CS2, CS3, and CS4. Case 3, day charging using off charge. Charging start at 7 a.m. Okay, this one, we have two charging stations. Uh, and day charging CCS start also 7 p.m. And we have four charging stations. Okay, to summarize, we have off charge using two stations. CCS for charging station because op charge have higher output uh, compared to CCS. Okay, so next slide uh, is the EB charging schedule. Okay, so the one, this one is the details. Okay, where I'll put the uh, charging. Uh, charging turn, okay. For example, bus 1, the low priority, the lama escape. It's a bit late. Bus 3, Bus 5 has high, high parity. So, they need to charge first lah. Okay. Alright. So, and so on. We have 20 buses and 2 charging station. Okay. With varies of SOC and parity. So, parity and SOC is coming from the fuzzy logic. Okay. This one is the night case. Night charging for CCS. Case 2, okay, so CCS need at least 2.2 hours lah, okay, maximum 2.2 hours to fully charge the bus, okay, with minimum SOC 20%. Usually, when you drive electric vehicle, you cannot let the electric other uh, vehicle to 0% depletion, okay, 20% means that 0% to the uh, real life in driving electric vehicle, okay, and then. Case 3, day charging, off charge. Day charging starts 7 a.m. And this last station is ended 12 p.m. And day charging is, day charging case 4 for CCS, start 7 a.m. Last charging station is 5 p.m. For, for bus 17. So, this case also can be considered as the uh, electric bus charging schedule. Okay. So, from the charging schedule, from the price, okay, tau price from the bus specification parameters, okay, I come up with the uh, result for the energy demand, okay, let us see demand or energy demand, okay, this, uh, if this is the table, okay, from time of uh, 00 until 23, okay, so baseline with this is without the uh, EB charging load, okay, only the uh, normal load for the commercial building, okay, the campus building. Case 1, okay, when we charge with uh, night charge, op charge, case 2, night charge, CCS, case 3, uh, day charge, op charge, case, case 4, day charge, CCS, okay. So, this is case 1 and 4 is the uh, case where I add the EB charging load. Okay, you can see that from this load profile, the comparison between baseline with this case one and case two. Okay, and with, with this case three and four. Okay. Okay, so this one is for uh, uh for the energy demand. Okay, for with this. Okay. And also, I have the result for the weekend, okay? So, I have set to separate for the weekdays and weekends because of the, uh, later I want to calculate the price, okay? The price for weekdays is different and with weekend, okay? So, in summary, uh, the in, uh, there are increase in demand for weekdays and weekend, okay? Energy demand compared to the baseline, okay? 
for week, weekdays, if we charge using or charge, the increasing in demand, energy demand is 34.91%. Uh, when using CCS is 24.88%. For weekend, 65.51% and for CCS, 65.42%. Which is, we can uh, give big implication on the in energy demand increase. Okay, if you can see from the low profile, the in, the increase in load demand is uh, obvious. Okay. Next is the objective uh, one result also for the uh, price. Okay, for the price with this baseline is one hundred eighty one thousand eight hundred and sixty two ringgit. Okay, case two two hundred fourteen. Uh, 1857 ringgit and case 2, case 3 and case 4 okay so baseline for weekend 50,647 ringgit and case 1 increase to 25,898 ringgit okay so the increment in price okay electricity price is follow with this and we can we can see that case 1 and case 4 until case 4 there are increment, positive increment, okay, 18.14%, 18.44%, 18.81%, 18.81%, 18.81%, 18.81%, 18.81%, and 22.66%, 96%. And uh, there are more than 50%, okay, increment in uh, price, 65.51, okay, 65.42, 65.51, okay, this one is for the weekend. So we can see that. If we add the uh, electric bus charge charging load to the uh, load uh, to the normal uh, load profile, the normal energy demand, it will increase in terms of energy demand and also the price. Okay. So uh, that's all for the uh, objective one uh, on the fuzzy logic. Okay. So next section, I will uh, try to optimize. Okay, or reduce the increase in price and energy demand by considering the demand side management and also the uh, price. Okay, the price. All right. So this is the gun chart for this for this research. And status and planning is status of publication. One general paper is on writing progress fifty percent. Status of the six writing ten percent. Planning for next semester. Revise objective and scope. Okay. I will make some rev revision and I will be working on the AI coding using MATLAB. Okay, continue uh, on the uh, AI coding MATLAB. Thank you for your attention. Uh, uh, and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.